Welcome back to ArtCamp 2018 training. We were discussing 3D commands or relief commands. ArtCamp relief, one of the important command is extrude command. Extrude command icon, you can see from here, there is a another few 3D commands available in that the second one is the extrude command. For that you have to keep the mouse button pressed and just in a keep uh, in the pressed position only you have to bring down the cursor and relief and release the button on top of the command you required to execute. So I am just leaving my mouse button on top of this extrude command. So that the template for extrude command is opened. So to start with, we must require few codes to create 3D using artcam extrude command. Artcam extra extrude command generally we require open curves. Now you have seen this curves I have drawn here are all open curves. Okay. Few places we can use closed curve also that I will tell you later. But generally we use open curves. So uh, the most important curve for this is the extrude uh, command is drive rail. The first, uh, first and foremost we are giving for uh, selecting the drive rail for that. Drive rail, I am selecting this curve as a drive rail along which only the 3D will be formed. Okay, So, uh, the, in this direction the 3D will be formed. The, the, the shape of the 3D depend upon the cross section what we are going to select for it. So, first we are selecting the drive rail. For that we have to select the vector and click the drive rail button here selection button click it so it will be selected okay the next we have to give the start profile so i am giving this curve a start profile so i click this curve and se the select button here so start profile so now you can see automatically a 3d shape has been formed so you would have understood by now minimum two curves is required to curves or vectors is required to create a 3d or relief using extrude command one is drive rail the second one is start curve that is we call start profile here okay start cross section this is the cross section you can see if you cut it the cross section the line formed you now the same way only we created the line here according to this start profile shape this cross section as for this 3d has been formed now we second we can go to uh, now we can use two more command uh, two more curves to modify this uh, relief Suppose we want a separate end cross section or the end profile, we want a separate end profile. We can uh, we can select, suppose I want this type of rectangular shape or I want a single, I am just taking one of, uh, I am clicking one of it. If I take this one, then select the end profile, select, you can see a 3D has been formed accordingly. So the start profile is different and profile is different. Okay. If you want to change this end profile to this one, you can select that one and go and again click in the end profile. So it will be formed accordingly. Okay. And one more modification, uh, one more curve we can use uh, for this command is the curve which controls the height of this profile or the th relief. So now you can see the height of the relief is according to the 
cross section size the start start profile height and end profile height so start profile height same height will be formed here and end also and profile according to that size only it will be formed here Suppose if we want a third uh, um, a, um, a curve which can control the height from starting to the end of the drive rail, okay, from the starting of the drive rail to the end of the drive rail, what should be the variation in the height? We can give it by selecting another curve. This is known as Z modulation curve. If you click this and select under the uh, select button under Z modulation you can see the profile the 3d relief height has been has changed from the beginning as per this profile at the beginning it is zero then it slowly rises the height as a graph no it slowly rises then come down at certain point you can see it come down at certain point and again goes up again goes up and coming down okay so we can use maximum four curves to create an extrude command so with this four curves we can control maximum and try to get the shape what we require in uh, drive rail we have an option to use multiple a number of uh, curves so that the same formula will be applied to other curves also okay one more curve is there if you have selected one more curves that curve also uh, same start profile same end profile same modulation profile what you are going to give for this uh, first uh, drive rail will be the same to the that curves also okay you can uh, try with uh, one or two uh, dry rail uh, you select it together and select it here then you apply it a start profile and profile and uh, set modulation profile all will equally apply to all the dry rails okay so let us see what's what's some variation here in uh, what all changes now you can see the uh, dry rail this is the dry rail the dry rail is formed here uh, in one side of this this relief is formed into the one side of the drive rail now if you, I want to use to other side I can move it to the other side okay use other side if you use this click the button and if you want uh, the same side you can keep it there or if you want it the center if you want to center it the profile if you want to uh, center the relief you can center to the profile okay so create square corners it's not applicable here because this dry rail don't have any sharp edges okay then start profile you can also invert the height now you can see the height here uh, height is in the top now you can invert it you can make it uh, negative because one see it goes down here it goes down then goes up see the changes in profile you can see here it's down now is it is it the inverse means the the direction of the is it changes so it goes down the profile goes down this profile goes up okay that is inverted so from here it is going negative then it's going to positive and if you want both keep one to keep inverse so it's equivalent to subtract okay it's equivalent to subtract now okay the if you if you are if you want to invert you can invert the uh, relief in z modulation also if you invert the same uh, same thing will happen separately okay so if inverse means it will go you got the same effect what we did in these two command together or if you separately apply subtract command this also same effect will come okay so you should be very careful whether it's gone is it is up or no because generally is that we keeps every every time up 
in add way then if you want subtract you can use subtract if you want in particular one side only down and one side up means you can use this one okay one side down and one side up like this so you can change the profile accordingly all other add uh, subtract merge high merge low and replace everything works similar as what we explained in the shape editor so you can try with some existing 3d profile here you can try with an existing 3d profile and uh, can create a next root command then merge high merge low and uh, replacement uh, will work hope that you are clear about the extrude command if any doubts please put in the comments so that i can you out with more explanation thank you